Well, today I'm at Glenview School and these guys have something real awesome happening here today. Um, what was your name, bro? Ashton. Ashton, nice to meet you. What are you sitting in currently? A go-kart. Yeah, okay, and what's, what's happening at school today? Having a go-kart race. Man, so they've got a bit of a tro trolley derby slash go-kart race happening. Um, so who actually built this for you? Byron. Yeah? Byron. Up there. This up guy there. up here, amazing, good stuff. And how long did it take you guys to put it all together and stuff? Two weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. And how many how many other go karters are there? About seventeen. Whoa! That's, so that's going to be a pretty crazy race. So who, where do you actually have to um, drive around? Around this little field over here. Yeah. So you guys got a, a bit of a course that you have to go around. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And how confident are you feeling that your go-kart is going to win at the end of the day? Pretty confident. <laughs> pretty confident. It looks pretty awesome, especially it's got like legit wheels and stuff on it. So let's go and see who else we can meet today. <laughs> Now I'm with another group here at the Trolley Derby and what was your name? Jacob. Jacob, sweet. So what's so special about your team? Well we, um, all of our team, we picked fruit from our um, houses and stuff and then we went down to Erlikshav Shopping Centre and at the corner we um, sold fruit and we raised $50 to for money for our go-kart. That's such a good idea man, so good to like use your initiative and do a bit of fundraising and stuff. So what sort of things did you buy with that $50? Oh, we bought the um, the spray paint and all the painting. Yeah. We bought the wooden bits and um, that was pretty much it. And then we've got some left over that yeah, we don't know what we're going to do with yet. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Maybe like go buy some lollies or, or something like that with it. <laughs> um, and so what did you, what parts did you actually have to find for your go-kart? Um, well, most of it was already made, but then we had to find like the wood and a bit of the metal, the painting. We had to get the right paint, yeah. and we also had to get the sticker on the back of our go kart because um, we needed a license plate. So that was pretty much our license plate. Cool. What does it say on your license plate? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> I mean, it looks real cool as well. And where did you guys find like the wheels and all that sort of stuff? Oh, that was already made, but we um, had to get it like all perfectly ready and stuff. Um, yeah. We had the wheels from. Uh, another person in our group, they already had a bit of it ready, but most of it um, was bought, yeah. 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 And how confident are you feeling that you guys are going to win today? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure? So have you tested it out at all? Oh uh, yeah, we tested it out at my place. We went down to the park and we uh, pushed it around there. Yeah. Yeah, um, that, so that we tested it out there, so it was pretty good, yeah. Sounds good. Well, we'll have to see in the race now how these guys go.
Well, how cool was that trolley derby here at Glenview School in Hamilton? Those guys all made their own trolleys or got help from parents and diff different relatives and things like that to make the trolleys for today. And they first started off with a bit of a parade around the field and then ended up doing time trials so that they all had to um, try and go around the track individually, so um, in, in their carts, trying to go around as fast as possible and then someone won at the end of the day. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see, but maybe they will be able to tell us uh, very soon by emailing via the website. Uh, but thanks again to everyone here at Glenview School for giving us such a great time and we'll see you soon.